All right, on today's episode, oh, I'm so tired. It's early Sunday, it's already getting hot. I'm gonna be doing this dash swap. Got the all black dash going in, so uh, yeah, should be fun. All right, so it's gonna be a hot one today, but I wanna get this done, I'm kinda over it. Got a lot left to do on the track car, and the dash swap is one of the things that has to be done to finish this. I got the dash out last night before I went on my toge run. So I need to get the black and tan dash out of my car so that I can take the crossbar out of it. The crush support bar that goes in there. So that I can put it in this car and have something to mount the steering wheel and the instrument cluster and anything else I want to mount to it in the car. And then whoever buys the dash, they will have their own crash bar behind their dash. So they can just pull the cover off of their crash bar, put the new cover back on. So if you need a black and tan dash because yours is cracked, I got one. So here's the all black dash I'm going to be putting it into my car and get rid of the black and tan this also has two map lights so kind of stoked about that i will have to re-drill some holes for my switches though and i believe yes these are power window door covers and armrests so i'm going to be swapping these into the car as well first i need to clean everything and get the dash out of my car honestly i should just go ahead and get the dash out of my car before it gets any hotter so i think i'm going to go ahead and do that sorry keep forgetting to film it kind of sucks i just did all these leds so those have to come out the ipad center console has to be completely removed because this doesn't fit on the older dash because of this curve here it comes more straight in uh all of this stuff has to come out so uh, back to work Just in case anybody was wondering, that is a bitch to get out. I don't care what any of the forums or internet posts say. That is a pain in the ass. Oh, fuck. Now on to put the black one into mine. First, I need to clean it real good. Get it clean for putting back into my car so it's not filthy. So, I'm going to do that now. I was so close to being done, and then it starts raining, of course. <sighs> Whatever. Almost there. Just got to do the door panels and then I'm pretty much finished. All right, that was quite the ordeal. Again, don't let anybody tell you that dash swaps are easy. I need to get the crossbar out of this one, cut off any of the excess stuff I don't need, and then mount it back into this car. So I'm going to get on that because it is still pretty rainy out, but still not too hot. So that's a bonus, I guess. So I totally forgot I still have the black dash from the miata that i curb checked so if anybody wants this black and tan 94 and up dash i also have the pad for the airbag so other than this little blemish right here and then i think 
there's a crack right here but that's all the way up by the windshield so you won't even see it but a little blemish right here you could put a hula girl or a compass or something over that you'd never see it but black and tan dash let me know shipping will obviously be a bitch so i won't charge you too much for the dash itself and uh hit me up All right, so I got the crossbar all mocked up. I got most of the stuff off of the steering shaft. I'm gonna have to cut this guy off to get rid of the um, lock cylinder. I'm gonna cut off all these excess brackets, so it's just a bar and a centerpiece for switches. And then I'll paint it up, probably gray or white or something. Zip tie the entire wire harness to it, then I should be able to put everything back together and start cutting on the rear. In the meantime, it is 2.45, haven't eaten lunch yet, so I'm gonna take a break. So I got the black dash in. I still need a center tombstone for a 90 to 93. So if you guys know anybody selling one, hit me up in the comments. I also need the bottom kick panel underneath the steering because I guess the one I have doesn't match up. But all in all, black on black. Even got the armrest changed out and the seat. So I'm ready to put the racing seat into the track car. And now let me show you what I did to the track car. So I got the crossbar out of my old black dash so that the black and tan dash is still complete. And painted it up red. Doesn't really match, but I don't care. Left the center section so I can make a switch panel there for start and kill and wipers and lights and stuff. Got the steering wheel mounted up. I still need to cut the key cylinder off, get all the wiring ready to mount to the bar. I also still need to cut the rear end off and then mount this seat with one of the racing harnesses on the driver's side. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do about the passenger side yet, whether it be the other black racing seat or a black stock seat and then racing harness or just a seat belt. Don't really know yet. So almost done tried starting it again with the computer in still can't get it to fire it doesn't sound like the fuel pumps priming so it may be the fuel pump relay all the fuses are good i do need to reconnect some ground so that might have something to do with it and there's a couple of wires that are kind of funky going into the computer so i need to check those but it should start and run i mean it can't be anything other than spark fuel or air so it's getting air obviously i think that's about it for today though i'm beat i just did a nine to five on this thing doing the dash swap and i am friggin exhausted so be sure to like if you liked subscribe if you want and as always keep modding